Thursday morning, which means we get another legend reveal for MLB The Show 22, and it's none less than Mike Mussina, the original Moose. This is actually our first pitcher that we've, it's our first anything other than a left-handed hitter that we've gotten, but this one was a little bit difficult. This guy, he looked a little bit chunkier, a little bit bigger, like he had some muscle on him, and just based off build alone, there were like a handful of guys that I came up with, that the community came up with, but it seemed like Mike Mussina was a pretty popular one. Yeah, this card's not gonna be bad at all. He'll definitely get a 99 overall. I don't think he'll be like one of those end game type pitchers that you'll keep top five starting pitchers in the game or anything like that. But if he comes out at the right time, I think he'll be pretty good. We got Ainge, of course, making stats for him already because the dude's always prepared for this shit. We'll go over that in another video later today. But interesting that they showed him in the Yankees uniform. If I'm remembering correctly, I thought he was actually a lot better with the Orioles throughout his career. But still, very solid career. He played for 18 seasons, had a couple top five Cy Young campaigns, actually came second in 1999, where he had a 3.5 ERA, which wouldn't do anything nowadays. 1.274 uh, whip. Yeah, these stats just don't live up to what we see nowadays. What did, who finished first in Cy Young voting that year? AL Cy, Pedro Martinez did. Pedro Martinez had a 9.8 war, 23 and four. Yeah, Pedro's season was insane. And actually, 9.8 war for Pedro. Then Mike Bucina, who was second, only had a 4.4 war. So he probably shouldn't have been up for the war that year. But still, he had a very solid career. He was got a lot of wins with the Baltimore Orioles. ERA was always right around like that three and a half mark. Doesn't get a lot of strikeouts. Only 7.1 career uh, Ks per nine, two walks per nine. 8.7 hits per nine isn't anything amazing, but he's definitely a Hall of Fame pitcher. He'll get his 99 overall card, and more than likely with a Mike Mussina card, he'll be pretty decent because I think he'll get a five pitch mix that'll probably include a cutter, sinker, slider. He'll have a good repertoire on hand, but he won't throw hard. He definitely won't have outlier. His case per nine will probably be a little bit on the lower end, but still, this isn't a bad legend by any means. I'm okay with Mike Mussina being the first pitcher announced in the game so far. I just don't think he's gonna be anything special. We haven't got any of those guys yet. The disrespect for the Orioles days is real. The Orioles do get a lot of disrespect. W, man spent most of his career in Baltimore and had his best season in Baltimore, but yet Yankees get a card, makes sense. A lot of people just do not like the Yankees. Scan having his bulge out and shit. This isn't Cheater, Orioles legend. So a lot of people, W, a lot of people like that Mike Mussin is in the game, and they also don't like that he's in a Yankees uniform over an Orioles uniform. But I'm sure some of his better cards will be in the Orioles uniform. Probably get a signature series or something over the year, Orioles legend. But let me know what you think of Mike Mussina being the first pitching legend we see in the game. There's still a lot of big names we can get. I obviously am really holding out, holding out hope that Roy Halladay, we got have his rights, and then nobody knows what the fuck is going on with Randy Johnson. If Randy Johnson's being in the game, obviously it's a W. He's going to be the best pitcher in the game. He's one of the better legends we've ever gotten. If he's not, then this is going to be very, very, very disappointing, and I have no idea who the big legend's going to be this year, because if it's Jeter... I just don't think he's going to hold out. He'll be a cool name to have in the game, but he's not going to be like one of those top guys just because he won't have a ton of power. His fielding's overrated, so I could see him getting butchered a little bit there. But Mike Mussina, first pitching legend in MLB The Show 22. Boys, we are only three weeks away. I think it's three weeks from tonight. MLB The Show will be dropping for the early access if you pre-order the game. So we are so fucking close. I'm hoping that we get some bigger legends, but I do like the idea of having Mike Mussina to come to the game. But let me know what your thoughts are on this card down in the comments section below. And then tonight we do have the live stream, which is freaking commentary, because for some reason we need a whole live stream dedicated to commentary because we did nothing to franchise. Makes sense. Switch gets its own reveal. Uh, commentary gets its own freaking 
feature premiere, no franchise. So is what it is. Definitely probably not going to tune into that or make a video. But if you want me to, let me know in the comment section. But anyways, boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.